Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you five methods to fix the automatic repair loop and the error message that says, startup repair couldn't repair your PC. You might currently be stuck on a blue screen that keeps showing messages like, automatic repair couldn't repair your PC, or startup repair couldn't repair your PC. If that's the case, don't worry, you're not alone, and this video is here to help. This issue can happen due to a variety of reasons, such as hardware malfunctions, changes made to the system registry, CPU overload, or other system level problems. But instead of focusing on the root causes, we're going to dive straight into the step-by-step -step solutions that will get your system back up and running. All right, to begin with the process, you will see two options, shutdown and advanced options. Click on the advanced options, You'll be taken to a screen that says choose an option. From here, select troubleshoot, then click on advanced options again, and this time choose command prompt. Once the command prompt window opens, we'll need to run a few essential commands. Don't worry, I'll explain each one so you don't run into any issues. First, type the command sfc forward slash scan now. This will check for any integrity violations in your system files, which are often the cause of blue screen errors and repair loop issues. It won't take too long. Just wait for the scan to reach 100%. Once completed, you'll see a message like, Windows Resource Protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. That means the tool detected some issues and has now fixed them. Next, type boot rec forward slash Fix MBR, hit enter. You should see a confirmation saying, the operation completed successfully. Now type the following, boot REC, forward slash NT60, sys, press enter. Next type, boot REC, forward slash, fix boot, press enter again. If you see an access is denied message here, don't worry, you can skip that and move to the next command. Now type, boot REC, forward slash, rebuild bcd this command will scan all drives for windows installations and rebuild the boot configuration data if anything is wrong lastly type this command chkdsk forward slash f forward slash r c colon replace c with your system drive letter if different this will scan your entire drive for any errors and fix them it can take 5 to 10 minutes depending on your system setup. It could take more or less time. And that's it. You've just run through a complete set of powerful repair commands to help fix the automatic repair loop or startup errors in Windows. Once this is done, simply type exit and press enter. Click on continue. And now it's time to check if the issue has been resolved. As you can see on my screen, Windows is starting to boot up, which is a good sign. I'll wait here for the login screen or the desktop to appear. Alright, it looks like everything is working fine on my end. Seems like the problem is fixed. If your system is also back to normal, then you're all set. However, if you're still facing the same automatic repair loop, don't worry. Just move on to method 2 and we'll continue troubleshooting from there. Click on advanced options again and you'll be taken back to the same menu. From here, select Troubleshoot, then click on Advanced Options once more. Now, choose Uninstall Updates. You'll see two options. Uninstall Latest Quality Update and Uninstall Latest Feature Update. Start by uninstalling the Latest Quality Update and check if the issue gets resolved. If not, go ahead and try uninstalling the Latest Feature Update as well. If you're unable to uninstall the updates from here, or if uninstalling doesn't fix the problem, go back and click on Startup Settings, then select Restart. Once the system restarts, you'll see several boot options. Press the number 5 key on your keyboard to enable safe mode with networking. Your computer will now boot into safe mode. Once you're in, click on the Start Search menu, type Control Panel and open it. Go to Programs and Features. Then from the left-hand panel, click on View Installed Updates. You'll see a list of recent updates. Go ahead and uninstall the most recent ones. After that, review the list of installed applications. If you've installed any new software recently and suspect it might be causing the problem, uninstall it as well. 
Once you've removed the updates and any potentially problematic software, restart your computer and check if the issue has been resolved. If you're still stuck in the automatic repair loop, don't worry, just proceed to method 3 for the next fix. Once again, click on Advanced Options, then go to Troubleshoot and click on Advanced Options again. This time, select System Restore. If you've created any restore points in the past, when your system was working fine, they'll appear here. Choose a restore point from a date when your PC was functioning properly. Click Next and follow the on-screen instructions to restore your system to that previous state. This is a powerful method that can help if the previous methods didn't solve the issue. However, if you don't have any restore points or the restore process fails, the next method is to perform a power drain, also known as power flashing, a highly effective fix for various blue screen issues. Sometimes static electricity builds up on the motherboard, leading to system glitches. Here's what to do. If you're using a desktop, shut down your computer completely. Once it's off, disconnect the power cable and all external devices. Then, press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds to discharge any static electricity. After that, reconnect all the cables and devices, power it back on and check if the issue is resolved. If you're using a laptop, follow the same steps. If your laptop has a removable battery, take it out, unplug the charger, and disconnect all external devices. Press and hold the power button for 25 to 30 seconds. Then reinsert the battery, reconnect the charger, and start the laptop again. This method resolves many startup and blue screen issues, and there's a good chance it will work for you too. But if none of the above solutions fix the problem, your last option would be to reset your PC or go for a clean reinstall of Windows. To proceed, once again click on Advanced Options, then select Troubleshoot, and this time choose the Reset This PC option. You'll see two choices, Keep My Files and Remove Everything. If you don't want to lose your personal data, go ahead and select Keep My Files. Next, it will ask whether you want to use Cloud Download or Local Reinstall. Choose Local Reinstall and your computer will begin the reset process without erasing your data. However, if you encounter an error during the reset, like this PC can't be reset, then your final step is to reinstall Windows. Don't worry, even with a reinstallation, you won't lose your personal data. And that's all for today. I hope one of these fixes helped you break free from that annoying repair loop. Let me know in the comments which method helped resolve your issue. And if you're still facing the same problem, feel free to drop a comment. I'll definitely get back to you. If this video helped solve the issue, then don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on more easy fixes and tech tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.